Hello everyone, Kirith here, and I do a lot of racing, live streaming, open lobbies, coaching on GT Sport, and there's one mistake. One mistake I consistently see from new players that loses them a load of time. And the thing about this mistake is, it's not that easy to identify and realise that you're actually losing a lot of time. So in this video, I'm going to have a look at the mistake, I'm going to show you how much time you can lose, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So we're going to cut to the chase. The biggest mistake that I see new drivers do in GT Sport is breaking too late breaking too late now i'm going to show you at the beginning here an obvious example of where you do want to break late but i'm also going to show you how you lose time so i'm going for an overtake here up the upside of super gt inside super gt i break later get to the apex but look how much faster super gt was at the apex there he basically almost ran into my car because i was so slow i couldn't get it stopped in time so if we were doing time trial his line would be much faster now here obviously i'm trying to make a block pass so it doesn't matter that i was slow there's only a few corners to go but in a race really you want to be maximizing your exit speed the complete opposite of what i did there so let's have a look at this scientifically let's see how much time we're going to lose if we break too late i'm going to go to circuit experience you can see i don't really do this a lot and we're going to go to dragon trial e size sector one specifically because there's only really two braking points here so you can either break early or break late and in this lap we're going to break too late but importantly we're still going to make the corner so this is the first braking zone you can see we're braking almost as we reach a ridge curb and I'm not going to run out too wide here. So if you're a new driver, you're probably going to think, well, hang on, he still made the corner. He still made the apex. And this is why I think a lot of people don't realise they're losing time. Because if we pause the footage here, you can see I'm pretty close to that kerb on the left-hand side. But actually, the, eight, the true apex of this corner is basically you need to be on the red paint. You need to have a wheel on the red paint there, otherwise you're running wide. And so in reality, it's taking me a comparative age to get on the throttle. So again, we're going to have a look at this, the second braking zone, the last braking zone in the sector, and we're going to brake late. And this one's going to be a bit more exaggerated, so we're braking um, just before that kind of shadow from the uh, telegraph pole or whatever it is, camera, hits the kerb. And have a look where we are on the apex. Now, I'm definitely not on the kerb this time, but also I'm not running off the track on the left-hand side. I'm not massively on the left-hand side of the track. So again, as a new driver, you might think, okay, that's an okay line, I'm not really braking too late. But the re reality is... That is breaking massively too late and we're going to see that now when we compare it against the next lap I did where I'm going to break massively massively early. Actually earlier than I would do normally to be honest um, but just to prove this point. Now if you are enjoying this video do feel free to drop a like or even a subscribe and ring that notification bell if you want to get notified for the next guide or whatever I do on GT Sport but here we go I'm breaking earlier here before the red paint that's massively massively early but have a look at the effect it has when I get to the apex. I'm just about dipping a wheel on, on the left there. Not perfect, but much closer to the true apex. It means I can get on the power sooner. We're going to compare the exit speeds in a second so you can see side by side the difference that has. Going into the second braking point, again, going to brake massively, massively early. You can see braking almost seems we've got around the corner. And have a look at the effect this has at the apex. I'm all over the curb this time. All over the curb, and that means I can get on the power early and my exit speed is going to be much higher. So that's the difference. That's the difference, really, for a lot of drivers. It's just braking early. And for me as a carter, it's interesting because in karting, it's scary to brake late. <laughs> Whereas in GT Sport, it's easy to brake late. So in GT Sport, you need to kind of have that discipline to, to brake early. And then you can push it from a braking early point. Let's compare the footage here side by side. So we're braking later in the, in the top screen and braking early in the bottom screen. You can see in the bottom screen, we're 10 miles an hour slower there. But by the time we get to the apex, we're actually the same speed. And when we go to the kind of the, the final acceleration point post apex, you can see on the bottom screen, which is the better lap, I'm five miles an hour faster. And we're going to carry that five miles an hour all the way to the next braking point. That's the secret about exits. So again, here we know that I'm going to brake um, later on top, earlier on bottom. But again, look at the apex this time. I'm so much closer on the bottom side and I've got six miles an hour more speed that we're going to carry all the way to the finish line. So braking late in GT Sport can really cost you a lot of time. And it's it's hard to identify because you might still be notionally making the corner, but it's not as good an exit as you could have had. So I did one more lap after this to kind of think about everything I learned. And I, I do go faster in this lap. I'm not trying to set world records here, just trying to illustrate a point. So we do dip it all that time on the left-hand side, get on the power nice and smoothly. And uh, I think it's gonna be an even better exit when um, we go around the second braking zone here. So you can see, not braking super, super early, but braking earlier than did in the first lap, getting over the apex on the power nice and early. Not a lot of wheels been over the line. It's going to be a bit of a faster lap. But the fact is, my um, my lap, my second lap 
was four tenths faster than my first lap. Four tenths is a huge amount of time for one sector. Um, and this is about six tenths faster or something like that. So you can save a lot of time by just breaking early and getting good, good exits, especially in duty sport. So I'd be really interested to know if this video has helped you, if this is something that you kind of recognise in your own driving. If you do want to do this circuit experience, do let me know in the comments what time you've got and let me know if you've tried this approach of breaking early and breaking late and seen a difference. I'd really, really like to hear from you. But otherwise, I hope this video helped you. Hope you have some great racing and duty sport. And I'll see you next time.